Hey everyone, what's up? So, I just want to say, I think I found one of my favorite guitar inventions. Um, so, I've got these puppies, and it's Michigan. It's getting colder. It's getting drier, probably. Um, and so, from Diodario, I picked up a couple things to help with humidity, and... I, I'm not, I don't have any sponsorships or anything like that. I'm not big enough for that kind of stuff. But um, I just have to say that I really just truly love this product. And so I was gonna unbox it and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, these are the Humidikits from Diodario. Um, they come with packs that help uh they're two-way moisture packs so if your guitar is too humid it'll suck moisture up if your guitar is not humid enough it'll release moisture into the guitar um it comes with this little bluetooth sensor so it's like a humidifier um what it, what would you call that a uh hydrometer <laughs> or something like that um, and then it also syncs to an app. So via Bluetooth, uh, kind of like low power Bluetooth, you can, uh, check on the status of your humidity and temperature inside your, uh, guitar case. So these things are super rad and they're super easy to use. Um, you just pop them out of the box like this, um, open them on up. And when you buy them, you can get these, like, player circle points, which are really nice. So you can actually, like, get free strings or get, like, uh, micro tools or tuning tools and things like that. I don't know what a micro tool is. Um, so, yeah. So you open it up. It comes with the, uh, the meter, the temperature gauge and everything. You just simply pull out the tab. And it'll start flashing. Um... You might need to use your app at the same time as you do that. So don't just pull it out. Maybe check download the app first <laughs> and then do that. So what you do is you open the app. Um, after you create your account and everything, you go over here. And you can see there's a plus sign. So you click on the plus sign to add your um, sensor. And then hit uh, link sensor. And then once you see the screen where it says uh, pull the tab, you can pull the battery tab out. And then it takes like... 30 seconds up to 30 seconds maybe you should hear like kind of a cool noise and then you know that it has connected and then you can take a picture of your guitar you can um yep put the name the brand and the model uh in and then hit save and here you go you can start to see all of your guitars on here and their humidity which is pretty cool Um, and then you take this pouch, you rip it open and open it up and it has, I think three different, yeah, so it has three different pouches in it. And so the way it works is it comes with two cases. Um, one case is a double case and the other is a single case. And so what you do is you slide these pouches right into this little felt pouch holder thing um, that uh, they send you as such. And then you put one in the other side. So all I'm doing is kind of taking it, lifting the flap, sliding it in uh, so that I have one on each side, just like that. So it kind of hangs like a little sack, <laughs> like just a couple sacks. Um, and then this just slides right in between two strings uh, and sits in your sound hole. And then the third pack goes in a separate sleeve here and uh, you set this one kind of next to the headstock in the case. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. One of the other things I wanted to say is that if you ever get one of these pouches and you can kind of see it looks like it, there's like a almost like an oil or like a wet stain on it, 
uh, throw it away and contact Diodario. They'll give you a new one. And don't put that in your guitar because it could stain or ruin your finish or something like that. So definitely check the pouches to make sure that they're all clear on the outside. I've only had that happen once. Um, and it was in a pack of like 50 that I ordered on Amazon. So I actually sent them back to Amazon and Amazon sent me a new pack. But, um, but yeah, pay attention to that. Um, and I mean, these things, they lasted me like for six to eight months um, inside a guitar case and kept the relative humidity like right at 45, 50 all, um, all summer and all winter long. So um, it was super, super easy to use. So here, um, let's take a look. This is a Martin 015. And as I was saying in the sound hole, all you do is kind of take it like this and just kind of slide it in between or around two strings and kind of just gently push it down. These things, as such, And then they just sit in the sound hole, uh, just like that. And then this one, like I said, just go up to the sound, the headstock, like that. Sorry, I'm trying to find where the headstock is. And I just kind of toss it in there by the headstock, just like that. And that's all it takes. Um, the high, the the meter, you can either clip on. It has a Velcro attachment, so you can clip a clip on. Or you can kind of just, what I do is I've, I've just set them right in the case like that. Um, and then I don't really move the cases around very often, so I'm pretty confident it's fine. And then, yeah, it just detects the relative humidity in the whole case, and it works brilliantly to keep your guitars protected. What you want to avoid is having the top dry out. Um, you can get cracks that way. Uh, you can also get into situations where your your action on your strings totally changes. So if the if the top shrinks, your um, your action in your neck might kind of drop down. You might see more kind of string break away as it uh, leaves the neck and approaches the saddle, and it just overall is not good for wood. So um, yeah, that's it. Diodario Humida kits. They sell the kit with the meter in it. They sell the packs separately as refill packs. And then they also sell the packs with the sleeves without the Bluetooth sensor if you just want to toss it in the case and, you know, knock on wood and hope that it's in the right humidity. Honestly, I, I have like two, three Bluetooth sensors and maybe four or five acoustic guitars. And the other ones don't, I don't care about the, the sensor as much because I, like I said, it's, they've always been right between 45, 50, um, uh, relative humidity kind of inside the case and so I did not really worth it uh, to invest in the extra extra meters and uh, like I said you kind of put those codes in on your player circle on Diodario's website and you get you can get use it like cash on the website to get strings to get tools to get uh, cleaning fluid stuff like whatever you want so overall you know I used to be kind of like a Ernie Ball or Martin String kind of person, but just kind of buying into this whole Diodario humidi humidification system. I tried out some strings and now I can like buy a new humidi humidity kit and get more strings with the points I get. And it's kind of like, uh, maybe I'm a Diodario guy now. Who knows? Anyway, uh, cheers and thanks for watching. Um, also, if you found this helpful, let me know. Um, I think that guitar maintenance is kind of underserved in terms of uh topics of conversation I, you have so many guitars uh, we all have so many guitars and then we don't necessarily take care of them so um just kind of looking at what that means from just a, a home perspective what sh what's the bare minimum i should do if i have an acoustic guitar keep it in the case keep it humidified especially in the winter and especially in your if you're in a place that's ultra humid or ultra dry um cool that's it uh don't forget to like subscribe, tell your friends. Um, I am excited to get back to posting more content. My family's in the middle of a move right now. So it's been an insane summer, um, but really excited to kind of get back on a schedule. So uh, cheers and see you soon.